the best note-taking tablets available on the market today. We've come up with a list of recommendations based on their features and customer reviews. Our analysis ranked the tablets based on their ability to increase your efficiency when taking notes, whether by using a stylus or keyboard, as well as their powerful internal components. We suggest purchasing a note-taking tablet that has plenty of internal storage space to save your notes and a durable design so you can carry it wherever you go. To help you find the right model, we've listed the top 5 best note-taking tablets and their key features plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below, so let's get started. Number 5. Kobo Ellipsa The latest e-reading device from Kobo, competing with Amazon Alexa. It has a 10.3-inch sheet paper display which now matches the size of an iPad. This device is in direct competition with e-reader tablets from Remarkable and Books. It performs well for reading, note-taking, and drawing, but lacks adaptability. The size, functionality, and cost have all increased significantly. Despite having a good design, the gadget is lovely with a resolution of 1404 by 1872. The screen boasts 127 pixels per inch, which is significantly lower than Clara and Formus 300 PPI. When you put its case on and store the surprisingly heavy pin at the top, it becomes more severe and larger than a conventional iPad, which is lighter and smaller. There is no option to modify the screen's color temperature, unlike other Kobo models. The magnetic cover may be removed like a page from a legal pad and folds flat to the back of the gadget. It is nicely made, if a little stiff, and will surely safeguard your device. The writing process is adequate, showing some slowness, but with commendable accuracy. A software called the Ellipso creates flow charts using gestural sketching of shapes and labels. Though quick and adequate for quick remarks, don't count on being able to transmit these to your team right away as long as it's in the system. Live syncing means you never have to worry about which version of anything is where. Number 4 Pocketbook Era is a 7-inch e-reader with a capacitive touchscreen and Ian Carter 1200. It is available globally and meets the IPX8 standard, making it waterproof. The device can be submerged in fresh water for up to 16 minutes at a depth of 2 meters without any negative consequences. Unlike other e-readers, Pocketbook Era does not have buttons at the bottom of the screen. It features a frontlit display and a color temperature system that allows you to read in the dark. You can listen to music through a single speaker or pair Bluetooth 5.1 enabled wireless headphones or earbuds. The back of the reader is perforated with more than 100 lines, providing an excellent grip without leaving many fingerprints. The device is all black, but if you get the copper model, the sides of the bezel have a copper tone instead of the gunmetal accent. With Pocketbook Era, you can listen to one of the six audiobook formats supported by the device by simply tapping the play button on the screen. The e-reader's text-to-speech feature converts text into an audio track with a realistic-sounding voice. You can use Bluetooth-enabled devices such as car audio systems and wireless headphones to listen to books. Number 3 Onyx BooksNote Air 2 Plus is a slim aluminum tablet with a 10.3-inch dual touchscreen. It features a color temperature-adjustable, flicker-free display that makes reading comfortable. Built-in Wi-Fi lets you access many services and Bluetooth allows you to connect to external devices. The tablet has a larger capacity and a wider area, making it easier to hold with one hand while reading. The body is made of lightweight and robust aluminum magnesium alloy with magnets on the back for attaching an excellent protective case. The tablet screen has a resolution of 1872 by 1404 pixels, and it weighs 14.8 ounces. The accompanying pin can be magnetically attached to the right side and does not require charging. The tablet does not have a headphone jack due to its thin design, but you can pair Bluetooth headphones with it. It has a power button and a USB-C port. The Onyx Books Note Air 2 Plus utilizes dual-band Wi-Fi to access the internet. Refresh rates for various PDFs are available. Each document loads quickly, which is a contrast to normal Kindles. It can read audible books aloud while displaying their content to you. Android 11 powers the Qualcomm Snapdragon 662 CPU, an upgrade from the 636 scenes in the model from last year. Its 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage are further enhancements. 
Ink tablets can't be certified for usage on Google Play because they fail a required video frame rate test. However, a fresh coating covers the screen, giving it a more paper-like appearance. It doesn't perform as quickly as an iPad, but it still does okay. Onyx software that increases the buffer for third-party apps will soon be available. The 10-inch Onyx Books Note Air 2 Plus is the only ink tablet with the build quality and software flexibility that makes it perfect for taking notes and viewing large format texts. Number, Number 2. two Kindle Scribe The Kindle Scribe has improved enough since it launched to become my preferred tablet to recommend if you like reading, journaling, and now maybe even old-school pen and ink games like crossword puzzles and Sudoku. It has the biggest screen you can find on a Kindle while keeping the display just as sharp as the best Kindle e-readers, so books and text look amazing, even better than reading on the best iPad. If you're a hardcore handwriter and note-taker, you might prefer the Remarkable 2 tablet, which has many more options for pen styles, background templates, and productivity. The Kindle Scribe still has advantages, especially its backlight that lets you read and write in the dark, which the Remarkable can't manage. The Kindle Scribe keeps things simpler, and this will work better for most people who aren't using the writing tablet in the boardroom. The Scribe's cost is also more consumer-friendly. I originally complained that the Kindle Scribe couldn't write in the margins of books, a feature I would love for students as a former teacher. Sadly, this isn't Amazon's fault, and unless you buy books as .pdf files or more industry-specific .epub files, no writing tablet lets you write on any books as you please. Amazon does own a bookstore, so it has come up with a solution since the Kindle Scribe launched. Number 1 Onyx Books Tab Ultra The Onyx Books Tab Ultra is an expensive e-ink tablet, but it's not too expensive when compared to the Apple iPad 10.9, and that's probably the point. The Tab Ultra comes with a pen and a magnetic cover. It's more expensive than the Remarkable 2, with all accessories included, and much more than a comparable Kindle Scribe. On the other hand, an iPad 10.9 with an Apple Pencil is around $30-pound 60 more expensive, but you get an iPad and an Apple Pencil. That means you get a bright, colorful display, a powerful A14 Bionic chipset, and an incredibly robust Apple ecosystem. With the Onyx Books Tab Ultra, you get any ink display that isn't as sharp as an iPad and a processor that can't perform well enough to handle basic tasks. It's even heavier than an iPad which is a sad feat among e-ink tablets. If the Books Tab Ultra were half the price, I might recommend it to enthusiasts looking to see how far e-ink technology has come. The answer is not far enough to justify iPad-level pricing because it doesn't offer iPad-level performance. There you have it, the absolute best note-taking tablets. If this video resonates with you, don't hesitate to hit the thumbs up button. If you have a burning question, an idea for our next review, or just want to chat, drop a comment below. We value your insights and are always eager to engage in conversation. And if you decide to subscribe, welcome to the Tech Tribe. We have some epic content coming your way, so buckle up. Until next time, keep rocking, stay safe, and catch you on the flip side. Peace out.